Okay, so we're back and I've got the correct tool for removing the cylinder head. And I got, it turns out it's just a hot 12 millimeter, 12 point. I just happened to not have it the other night. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna, I'll remove these two bolts down here, out of here. I've already loosened them up. I'm just gonna pull them out. They're a bit longer than others. But yeah, we just want to remember to get those before we start uh, loosening up the cylinder head. And then uh, I think it's time to cut this zip tie because it turns out we didn't actually need it. I'm just kind of like used to doing that. Because we're doing a full disassembly, we're just gonna pull this gear out. No. So. Just gonna drop this down. Okay, so we just pulled out all those head bolts, you can see here, and I'm not sure why, uh, I like maybe one of you guys know why, or uh, I'll find out here shortly, but like these two here, completely submerged in oil. So hopefully that's not a failure, hopefully that's just a normal thing. Just kind of weird, I just wanted to... Want to mention it, but we're ready to pull this head off now. Get these out of here, shouldn't be anything holding it down. All right, so check this out. All right, so the that's pulling passages along here, they're they're not huge, but they're probably about a, a quarter inch by like three quarters of an inch slots. Well, this head gasket, look at that. Well, they just they just poke little holes. It's almost like they're in the business of uh, selling head gaskets. That's terrible. So they like this head gasket basically restricted the cooling in the cylinder head dramatically by doing that. Yeah, there's one that's punched out. This in this first hole. Is that? But, yeah, crazy what uh, the mechanics should have known that they should have known that. Because that's definitely not a factory. But anyhow. Alright, so here's looking at the bottom of Sewn ahead. Oh, they all look pretty uniform. Okay, so the boards look actually really good. Like this, oh, there's like good hone marking. And it's still like the cross hatch on all, all six of them. They all look pretty uniform. So pretty happy with everything so far. And there's two holes where the, the two uh, cylinder head bolts were like filled with oil. Where these two right here on uh, cylinder number four. Um, I'm not going to find out what's going on there until I get on the, uh, the inside of the motor. So have to see what's going on there still.
taking off this last cover plate here and just going to be finishing up here for the night. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for watching again. And if you want to uh, like, subscribe, uh, we're going to be getting to the fun stuff here pretty soon. We're going to be getting to the like fabrication side of things, which I look forward to. That's like my personal favorite part of uh, building. Um, so, get you to see in there. Uh, these like last couple of videos, kind of like the most boring part of this whole process. Uh, that guide's all cracked. So, I will be getting to the fun stuff here soon. Um, just need to get past the disassembly and the cleaning. And we can start building intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, get the internals built up. As far as I've been able to tell right now, because this is kind of not a set in stone plan, this engine, I'm just kind of doing it as I go, kind of seeing what I'd like to do or like to see out of it. And I believe we're going to be replacing the um, uh, pistons, uh, connecting rods, cylinder head bolts. Um, I'm going to uh, fabricate exhaust, the intake, the oil pan, probably a valve cover, depending on, I'm not sure yet though. Um, it's it's kind of hard to justify doing the valve cover because it doesn't really gain you anything besides uh, hood clearance and appearance so I kind of want to do it because I think I think it'll look good and uh, just in case uh, it goes into a smaller car because um, I haven't actually picked the vehicle to put this in yet kind of just want to build the engine first I got some uh, horsepower goals that I would like to reach because as far as I can see, this uh, uh, this engine block can handle, you know, like well up to like 3,000 horsepower. So there's room to grow. So I think I'll build all the supporting parts to at least handle 1,500. And I don't know if I personally need to go over that. Probably not. But I think the initial build will only be 600 to 700 horsepower and and then we'll go from there so you know but as long as you build the foundation well enough you can upgrade to like higher horsepower levels as you go so i will conclude as far as everything has looked really good as far as what uh, what's important to the build yeah we'll see you next time we're gonna I believe on the next video I'll be uh, taking the pistons out and connecting rods crank and finish removal of everything else on the block so it's ready to go get hot tanked so I can send this uh, the block out to have its work done and then while it's gone we can uh, I can start on the cylinder heads. I'd like to do some porting. I can uh, show all that. We're going to port pretty big. I'm going to get as much out of it as I can. I think it's going to be like 2 inch on the intake side. And probably pretty close to that on the exhaust as well. And But the exhaust will be kind of like an oval shape. Oh, that's something else I want to upgrade on this, is the valves, the valve guides. Um, as far as I've researched, these valves are pretty restrictive for airflow. So I want to add uh, Brian Crower. I think, I, think that's, I think that's who makes them. But um, so they're supposed to help with the airflow quite a bit. I'd like to do camshafts, but we'll just have to see. We'll start with the valves and do the cams down the road, most likely, unless something happens. 
because I will have to do the camshaft to get good power because I'm gonna this camshaft's not designed for for high RPM and I want to spin this thing out pretty far I think the like stock uh, rev limiter is around 5,000 uh, right out the bat I'd like to hit around uh, 7,000 to 7,500 so it's already moving that torque curve much higher so we'll just have to see what um what we have to do and what we can do later um just uh, just to keep the project moving along well again uh thanks for watching appreciate it and we'll see you next time